Frank's back. Yeah, I'm not going to stay here long because we would rather have you out knocking on doors than listening to us. You are the choir, as, as Dan Honorado said. So we need to get you choir singers out there talking to other folks so they can get the message about what we need to do on Tuesday, November 2nd. You know, this election is so critical. And I see all kinds of different unions out there. I see AFSME and Building Trades, Sprinkler Fitters, and Wayne Miller, thank you for your haul. This is great. I see painters, and I see steel workers, and I see every union, the UA, uh, the plasterers, they're all here. Pay at, we're all here to go out and work because we know that we need to elect politicians who are going to bring jobs back to America. Dan Honorado mentioned manufacturing. You know, when they build those new plants, who are the guys that build them? The building trades. So you have a stake in bringing jobs back to America. I was at the Gamesa plant where they build the windmills the other day. They're just getting ready to do an expansion, which means more jobs for the folks who build it, and they're hiring 70 more people to staff it. I talked to a guy who had just come back to work. He was about 58, 59 years old. He'd been out of work for a year. He was so thrilled to be back to work so he could provide for his family. And Tom Corbett says that guy was sitting on his butt waiting for his benefits to run out. I say to Tom Corbett, bull. He was waiting to get back to work in a good manufacturing job, a union job that pays a living wage. So it's critical that we support each other. You know, solidarity is not just a song. It's about a, a building trades guy going to a union shop right and buying Stroman's bread, which is union made, and that Stroman's worker making sure that when he needs something done, he gets a union electrician, and that, they, that we constantly build each other up. That's what this is all about. It's about solidarity. And we have a lady here, a, 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 I shouldn't say that, a woman here, who is the president of the National American Federation of Teachers, who has done so much for us, our kids, all those teachers out there making sure our kids get a good education. She is leading a union that is fighting so hard for our children. I just want to take a minute and she's going to speak to you. Randy Weingarten, the president of the AFT. Right. So, I've been crisscrossing the country and you know it like I know it. People are mad. They're angry. They're angry that we don't seem to have the future that we know is the American dream. And every single one of these Republican candidates, the folks who put us in the ditch, the folks who fight against union labor, the folks who fight against the middle class, the folks who, as your governor says, will outsource a job in a minute, every single one of them, rather than trying to fight the fight for the middle class, Rather than trying to get good jobs for Americans, rather than trying to make this country what it has always been, they scapegoat, they demonize, and they fear the country. Now, we know this. You see it right across the border in New Jersey, where you see that new governor, every time there's an issue, he scapegoats and demonizes teachers. He demonizes those in the trades. He doesn't go and do the hard work that Dan is going to do in your state, that Governor Rendell has done in this state, that Joe will do, that Allison will do, that Patrick will do. <laughs> this, my friends, it's about choices now. And it's about getting through that fear and having Americans, our neighbors, both their hopes, both their dreams, both their futures, rather than their fears. And that's why the next few days are so important. You going door to door to our colleagues, to our friends, to our families, and talking the truth, talking about who these guys are and what they're going to do to the country, what they've already done to the country. We need you out there. We need Dan to be your governor. We need Joe in the Senate. We need the Congress in there. So are you going to night and day fight, fight, fight? Are we going to elect the candidates that are here? something for the future of America. And my leader, who has crisscrossed the country even more than I have, 
the head of the AFL-CIO, one of your brothers from Pennsylvania, Richard Trumka. Yeah.